What equipment do you need to create your course? Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I'm all things course creation and building passive income. I've even written a book called Make Money While You Sleep. So what things do you need to create your course? Well, the first thing you want to think about is a microphone. So that might be a little clip mic that you would clip onto you and then you can plug this into your phone. And that is you know, a really easy way to create content um, on your phone. It may be that you decide actually that storing all the videos on your phone really bulks up your phone and, and you don't like having all the videos on your phone. And you might wanna think about actually filming on your desktop. And you can do this really easily. So let's go have a look at filming on a desktop. One of the easiest ways that you can create videos is by using Zoom. Now, there are plenty of downsides to this. The video quality isn't as good, um, you know, but when you're first starting out, this might be an easy op option for you because you're using your desktop, you're used to talking on Zoom, so you may find it simpler. So what you do is you just have your Zoom account. Um, you can have the free version, um, but you can't obviously go over 45 minutes um, or the paid for version. So um, once you're in your account, um, you want to first of all make sure that you're all set up. So this means making sure that you look at um, choosing what equipment. Now I'm just going to show you if I was just using um, the MacBook microphone, the quality isn't quite as good. Um, so I'm using my Blue Yeti just here, my Blue Yeti mic. Um, and this um, you can buy, I'll include the links below, you can just buy on Amazon. Um, and then for video, the video quality, you can either have the HD version. And so as you can see, this is me, um, just the normal, I'm using um, a MacBook Pro that's a couple of years old. And um, so, you know, when you see me there, it's just, it's not quite as light and bright um, when I'm using the Logitech. Um, I just look, I just get it all lined up. It's just lighter and brighter. So um, I definitely prefer to use that for uh, Zoom calls and everything else, but you know, you've got options. Um, and so once you're all set up, your positioning is right. Um, try and have a little bit of room above your head, set everything up. I would have my cushions going, just all set up. And if I wanted to record this, I would just go to record and I'm choosing to record on the cloud because I'm a paid for version or to this computer so I can press recording that. Recording in progress. And, um, and then there you go, you're recording, you share your knowledge. Um, when you're ready to, you want to share some slides or something, you can go to share screen and share whatever you wanted to talk through. And, um, and there you go, that's, um, you know, all the kind of information you may want to share. So for example, if I wanted to share, this is um, my video kit list and I'm gonna just go to the top of it. And um, I was talking about this. Um, so you might want to say, oh, if you want to check out my video kit list, here it is, here's some details. And so you can start talking through a document or a presentation or whatever it is that you're talking about. So there we go. That is the joy of recording using Zoom. Um, there are other options too. Um, and um, you could also look at um, recording on Canva. Um, I have a video training all about that. Um, if you click somewhere up there, um, I'll um, be sure to share that link um, of how to record presentations and your course using Canva.
The other option is using a DSLR camera. Now, this is my older camera. This is a Canon, um, Canon 80D, which is a great camera. It was just getting a bit too heavy. And so I swapped it for a Sony Z1, which I really like because it's so lightweight, so I can carry it around for filming and it's really easy. But using, God, I can't believe how heavy this is now, but using you know a camera of some kind um, is, definitely an option for you. It's a more expensive option and um, it means that it's, it, you might say, oh, I prefer it because it's better quality and that's that's all really true. Um, but it's not for everybody. You might decide it, you know, it works for you because if you love cameras and you're quite techy, then you might say, great, that's for me. But I would say, invest in a really good phone or some uh, like just the simple pieces of equipment rather than saying you have to invest in a big camera. You've got to do what works for you. The other thing to think about is having a ring light and so you know that can be really useful for you as a way to make your face look you know it smooths out the wrinkles it makes me look a bit younger <laughs> which is always good and um, yeah so I really like um, using a ring light as well to help you with course creation. Um, and so, you know, you've got to work out what is best for you. Make sure that you're at eye height when you're looking at the lens. Um, if you want more tips to help you with creating your course, then um, I've got um, a free guide below to um, equipment that you need to get visible, um, get my video kit list below. And if you would like some more help with building your online course, then I have a group program and a membership that helps you to build your online course. And if you've built your course, also then how you can effectively sell your course again and again. So if you'd like to check out that, I'll put the links below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business.